The World Economic Forum has ranked South Africa the worst labor relations in the world in the Competitiveness Report. Uh, a national practice head and director at Cliff Decker Hoffmeyer, Adol Patel, joins me now. Talk us through uh, how the WIF ranks uh, the particular countries in terms of labor relations. So what the World Economic Forum does is that it takes a number of factors and it ranks each one of them. When it talks about labor-employee relations, that's just but one of the factors where South Africa has come at the end. And labor-employee relations relates to the trust between an employer and its employees. Having said that, South Africa ranks fairly well when it comes to things like hiring, utilization of talent, uh, redundancy cost. Uh, in fact, just to make mention, some years ago, South Africa was on par with the UK and the US in terms of its whistleblowing legislation. Uh, the Labor Court has actually commended us and says that we have one of the best protections when it comes to whistleblowing. So when we look at this particular report, it only deals with one component and that component deals with the trust relationship between and the employer and its trade union or the, its employees. Why we're having this trust deficit? Because as we've seen, there's an eight-year impasse between uh, the labor, labors and government uh, currently happening now. Why is there such a big trust deficit in South Africa? I, I think it's just uh, it's a debate as to, or it's fighting for minimal resources. So it's a debate between the haves and the haves not. And government, sorry, the employer and its employees don't trust each other. Employees believe that the employers are holding back too much, while the employers are saying, given, our, given the current economic situation, we simply cannot afford any, uh, any more. Employees are looking at what employers are spending on and saying, we don't trust that you're actually telling us the truth. There's been a common battle between employers and employees in South Africa in that you'll see uh, the executive getting uh, mega bonuses and uh, while workers are still getting inflation-related pay or under-inflation related pay. So how do we you know, breach that gap in terms of an earning gap between uh, labor, uh, employees and employers? That has been an old age debate about executives getting so much pay and workers getting either no pay or, or minimal amount. The wage gap is something that it's dealt with through the various pieces of legislation. The Employment Equity Act, by way of example, requires employers and employees to narrow some sort of the wage gap. In order to narrow the wage gap, what one can do as well is to engage in collective bargaining. The problem with our industrial relations system at the moment is certainly a, tr a trust deficit. Both parties need to invest in gaining each other's trust. So no matter how many laws we have, and some of our employment laws are world class, no matter how many laws we have, no matter how many uh, seminars we have, and no matter how much regulation we have, if we're unable to sort out the human component, which is just trust between the employer and the employee, we're not going to be able to resolve this conflict. Given that we're about to get into what is called in South Africa strike season, how will this affect our competitiveness uh, according to WEF um, you know, and uh, the, the, um, the, the global outlook of, of South Africa's labor relations? You see, the trust relationship is just but one component, as I've indicated before. Our hiring and firing, our retention of skill, utilization of uh, talent, our whistleblowing are on par with the rest of the world. So just one component is not doom and gloom for everything. It becomes a misnomer, or I know the acronym says it strikes season and everyone starts panicking as such. But I think we've been resilient as a country to withstand this. And parties eventually do find themselves. They do find common ground and they begin to listen to each other. I think what we need to do going forward is that more time and effort needs to be invested in the relationships in order to build trust between the bargaining parties. Or more trust needed between employers and employees in South Africa. That was National Practice Head and Director at Cliff Decker Hofmeyer, Ardil Patel.